Hi, KMS. Today's Monday, January 25th. Today's the start of our last week together. So this week, we're going to wrap up Tech 6 with talking about robotics and automation. So today, what I need you to do is you're going to open up your tech portfolio. So to do that, you're going to open up your drive. So if you can please log into Chrome, click on the waffle, and click on your uh, portfolio. So far, it should be having a home page, and we just finished up our remote learning tips page last week. This week, if you could please click on pages and add a page and call it robotics and automation. You're going to want to change that cover photo to be something about robotics. Um, and you're going to want to add, for my example, I'll put this on Classroom, the link to the VEX virtual robot app that we're going to be using this week. Today's lesson, we're going to be using the Castle Crusher map, and we're going to work with just the drivetrain, driving forward, turning, driving backwards, and changing velocities. This week, we'll explore other options, including the pen tool and some sensors, and then we'll wrap it up with some real-world examples in our final publish this Thursday. So please open up your vr.vex. Pretend this is not here. You may notice that when you get started, you have, um, it kind of looks like Scratch, and that you have block coding. It's organized by color. If you'd like to move your robot with the drivetrain, you'll find those under the dark blue. We're going to use things under the looks tab, including the pen color. We're going to use things under the control tab to write efficient code. And we're going to use things under the sensing to mimic if the robot had sensors. The important thing to notice is that this does not have a place to save. So you do have to save to your device. That's why each day we're going to be taking a screenshot of your work and posting it to your tech portfolio. So make sure that any work that you do today is screenshotted and put on your tech portfolio. So for today's task, you're going to click up here in the top right, this playground button. What that does is it gives you a virtual world in which to view your robot. Over here on the right-hand side, I can change from the different views. So different people, you can see that I have um, a castle crasher set up. Please choose this course. You may be on different ones, may bring you to the grid. You're gonna wanna have the castles. You're probably gonna wanna look at the top view, the overhead view to start off with. And I want you to drive into these blocks and knock them over. You'll be using codes in the drivetrain to do that. So you do want to drive for a certain amount of time. It's kind of like Scratch where it moves in for a certain time. You can hit the play button, and it will show you what your robot will do. Okay, so I just move forward. I'll need to move forward longer, so I'll have to adjust this. I'll stop the simulation and hit this reset button right here. It goes back to normal. I'll make it go for longer, okay? And I'll try again. Okay, what I could do is I can go now and look in the different views around and I can see what happened. I may want to replay that again from a different perspective. What could I do where I could actually knock those over? I'll let you explore these blocks, but I'll give you a hint. The drive train scroll down, the velocity is automatically set to 50%. So that's the power. If you change that to be higher, it will knock it down. You may have to also turn. You can add right or left turns to turn into the blocks and then drive forward again. It's now running the new set of code. I drove the wrong way. So what can I do to fix this code? You tell me. That's the whole fun of it. So see if you can get all of the blocks to be knocked down for task one. If possible, see how many more castles you can knock down in the shortest amount of time. If you get to 30 seconds, take a screenshot and see what uh, you're able to accomplish. All right, KMS, good luck and enjoy coding your virtual robots.